edge of land as well as the edge of sea. The sea level rises and falls with the tides, marking the shore sometimes wet and sometimes dry. Winds drive unchecked across the open ocean and hit the coast with great force. Well, I like to read and I won't have to do my homework later. So that's good. You have to read to the docks and you get you know, free books and things. And, and when he was younger, in kindergarten, we, we worked a lot on reading. So I brought him and he started reading and one thing led to another and here we go in fourth grade. This is our pause to read punch card. The children that participate in the program will always get a sticker every time that they come to read to the dog and they also get a paw print uh, punched out. Alex, I'm five. Luca and I'm eight. It was so much fun. We were told about another gentleman that comes here. We bowl with his son, and he told us about it. So he reversed his son today. Yep. So we said, we'll go ahead and see what it's about and bring it over. They were excited about coming over, and they love to read, so we tried it. Tomka is very busy. They always have at least 20 kids. We started maybe getting two or three kids. Now we've got 15, 20. What are you getting? To where? Just a second, mother. I'm, I'm looking everywhere. Actually, we came by one time and just by accident was here and uh, the girls love animals. We have five dogs and two cats. This was a perfect thing and she's an avid reader and her sister wants to read as much as she does. You know, when we go places, you have the child that's a little shy and they, and they sit down and they start reading and they get louder and louder. Every once in a while I'll say, you know, I don't think he can hear you and they'll, they'll read louder and you can tell it really is helping them to get, you know, a little confidence mm -hmm. and, and they've got somebody reading to them that's not paying attention, that, you know, not checking the words, not making sure they're doing it right, you know, that kind of